Welcome back, guys. And, um, this is the extended version of the um, talent show project. And in front of the talent show project, we're doing Vision Studio 2019. See? Fun. Okay, so we're back. And um, basically, there's going to be two videos. They'll premiere at the same time. One of them will be this one, and then the other one will be the shorn one for the talent show. So we'll do class example for talent show. We'll point create. Wait for this to create, and I opened up my other monitor. I'm gonna start the short version. Welcome to my talent trip presentation, and this is on um, Visual Basic VB.net. So we'll start off with a button, and we'll create a form. Not sure how much I'll get in for this, but we'll see. So the first code I'm going to do is form two dot show, and then. In form two, we'll add close, which will do me that close. Do control S for save. You can also do checkboxes, which I won't be able to do a the extent the well if checkbox thing though there's an extended version on my YouTube channel. So we'll add a progress bar. Here. And you can add a web browser and the URL will be google.com. And we'll go ahead and start it up since we're running go on time for this. So we have a checkbox, uh, a little small but you have this here. And then we'll, we'll close it. So the end. Okay, so that is the end of the short version. Now let's get back on track for the longer version. So we'll do if check box one dot checked equals true, then little else command here. And do but in one dot enabled equal true and else button one dot enabled equals false and this will change when the checkboxes change and for this to work as it's inside of the effect we'll go here and then we'll disable this button I'll start the project and I'll look Works perfectly. So that's how you can kind of do that here. Um, you can change the size here so you can see the web page you tab it better. It's World Password Day. Um, talent show will be on YouTube, so you can go find that. And yeah, we can also add in a label. Oh, you can change it when it's clicked. So what we're gonna do here. Hello. And do a rich text box. I'll do a text box. You can also do a scroll bar. I'm not exactly sure how you do the scroll bars, but you can add it in. Have a few more elements. We have quite actually quite a few more elements than uh, we had in the previous ones. Hello YouTube.
Once I said my text is in the uh, text box from the very beginning, then yeah, let's run our project again. We have this, we have our progress bar. I have this hello YouTube thing. We can of course change this. And we can also use this web. It's like a little, it's IE, not exactly sure what version. We can look up a uh, Nintendo Switch, and it works fine. So, as I said, basically IE, but in your program. So, you can also do a com combo box. You can also disable this from uh, being changed with these. I'm going to just want to add in the original message. How are you doing? We'll start up again. Look, you can change it. And if it's not the lock version, you can type in anything you want. Literally. You can also stop the program behind that. I think you can also suspend it with the pop button. So. Now here's where dialogue's coming. So we have a dialogue. And then we'll add in a button. And, we'll do, and then we'll do color dialogue one not show dialogue. And then we'll save that. Then we'll rename this to color. And then we'll fill it and start it. Color, and then you have the uh, Windows 10 color options, which is pretty much the same for quite a few versions of Windows. Also, apparently it's word, or not word, World Password Day. Feeling playful. Script as a preservation. So I use I do much of a surprise. Keep running scripts. That's very nice. Got our little checkbox on here. There's applications in break mode, and you can unbreak it. <laughs> you can get out of break mode. Now, well, we're gonna mess with the radio buttons. So I'm gonna make this form a little bit bigger, and we'll put the radio buttons over here. So, here's a fun little thing about radio buttons. So we have our four radio buttons. Add in the fourth. We have our fourth. If you put a group box, and then you we put two of them in here and start the project, and they're completely independent of each other. When normally they would change each other, they're independent of each other. So these will go on their own. These will go on their own. And of course, you can do the code for stuff like the checkbox with this, which is pretty neat. You can also do similar code for stuff like this, or this, I think. But yeah, lots of stuff. You can also add a form close button on the main form to close the application. So we'll do a exit. And then we can just do e close, And then we'll start it up. And then exit, and then I'll exit. So yeah. Got quite a few things to mess around with. You have other dialogues, like the folder browser dialog, font dialog, um, open and close. Um, if you've ever used a program, I bet a lot of people are familiar with open and save. Um, so I'll go over some of the more rare ones. And font should be pretty, uh, no, but a uh, browser really well. So we'll show that one. So we'll do, I mean, this button folder. And I'll do folder browser dialog one dot show dialog. And I'll start it up. And then we do folder. And I'm not exactly sure how to do these dialogues, but you can do them. This is just a folder with a blank name. You can do this and OK. 
Now each I like has things you can modify. So if we go here we can here we can change where it is here. Mm. Example dialogue. And then if we start up the application again, it has example dialogue here. And we can select folder. The usual stuff. I also signed in through the well IE. As far as you can still do this. Don't know if I'll let you through though. And you also have things for color. And this is like the default. Don't be red. Any color. Show help. Which, um, what show help will do, it's kind of what it says on tin, it just, no one's help, it just shows help on what shows nothing. And it changed the color to red instead of black as a default um, color. So yeah, that will be it. Oh, here's picture boxes. Um, how you can do these is um, you can find an image on your computer and you can use it. You can also change a couple of these here. Now the last thing we'll do is we'll show the load functionality. So we can create a message box called lunch. Now this is for the extended video. It's for the talent show. So, and if we start it up, it will launch it before everything, and then you have your phone. So that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and suggest today's possible. My here's my talent show project. So first thing is um, the folder browser dialog, and just things in general. I do dialogs. So that unlike Excel, you can add in dialogs. So we can add in the folder browser dialog. And you have different settings, like description, and other fun things. And also have it fit to show, or not show, the new folder run. You have to do folder browser dialog one dot show dialog. And then if we start the project up, description, then. yeah, I got that there. We also can have something occur when it loads. And then I'll have four loads. You can also do picture boxes, which shows an image. I don't have enough time to show that. There was an extended version on my YouTube channel. You can also do menu ones, which is one of my favorites. File. Hi. And hi. Hi, talent. And then we can start it up. And we have file, hi, hi. And then talent show. You can also have that do demo things. So that'll be it. Goodbye.